Hi, I'm Sarah Jossel and this is the sensational Tan France. Thank you, hello. The plan today, Tan, we are talking weddings, we are talking bridal looks because Why? you are the host of Say Yes to the Dress. Hello everyone. I can't wait, I'm so excited. Are we putting you in dresses? We're going to put you in dresses. I, well, I was hoping you were going to say, <laughs> I am dress ready. You've had a good look and you've thought what you could put me in today as well. See. Let the fun begin. See. What is the first bride try? The thing that everyone pictures when they're thinking of a wedding, which is the meringue wedding dress, that like princess wedding dress. Oh, very simple, very humble, very quiet. See? Okay, <laughs> not her as a person, but the dress is gorgeous, but it's an obvious dress. It's a puffball dress. Let's go! <laughs> <laughs> wow! Yeah, it's lovely! <laughs> How does it feel? Like this is the moment the bride sees the groom. I can't do this. Sorry. Is it the dress? No, it's actually not bad. Like if it was fitted nicely, it's a little bit extra. I laid the veil out thinking it would be nice. I was wrong. It's better back. Okay. It's better back. You don't need the blush. It's better back. For my pear-shaped figure, uh -huh. Mm -hmm. This is a good style because right. it goes out in the right places, shows off the right parts of the body that it's I gorgeous. feel most confident yeah. with. Should we try a different tribe? Yes, what else can we do today? Okay, how about like modern, elegant, like Meghan Markle? It's really sleek, but it's still classic, timeless, really elevated, just a lot more simple. Oh, oh. this feels demure. Elegante. What do you think? No. Oh, ouch. Wedding dress shopping it always looks really fun in the movies. Obviously, we're having fun today. We're trying on dresses, but I'm a new mum. I've just had a baby, so I hardly recognize my body. Yeah, sure. Like, what is this butt? Where did it come from? You know? So I'm going to just hold it like this. Got it. Should I try adding a couple of accessories and see if it helps? It's going to be easy. So you can sit, lean on my shoulder. So, Tan, while you're down there, Ooh. tell me. <laughs> Not that kind of show, I promise. Right, tell me everything about Say Yes to the Dress. I was contacted by um, the Discovery people um, and asked, do you want to bring back Say Yes to the Dress? And the answer is yes, if you will let me do it more my way. I can't just do a show with yeah. white girls putting on white dresses, it's just not me. I want to see someone try on an Indian dress, I want to yeah. see a, a Nigerian dress. I want, I want every person who's at home watching this thinking, I see myself, I want to watch it because they, they care about me too, it's not just one kind of yeah. woman. Gorgeous. Are there any standout brides that you can just give a little sneak preview about? One of our brides is a drag queen. And it's not a gimmick for the sake of having that buzzy moment. Somebody who truly wanted to get married and dress in drag. Yeah. Um, and I thought that, that was really special. Tell me, what do you love about weddings? The the romance of the day. I think it's so magical. Do I do I look back on my wedding with fondness? No. Why? Um, it, the difficulty is on your wedding. You're busy like making yeah. sure everyone's having a nice time. Mm -hmm. You can't actually enjoy it. So do I love a wedding? Yeah, somebody else's wedding. Did not like my own wedding. Just anyone who's getting married, just know your wedding day might not actually be the best day of your life. And that's okay. Yeah, that's okay. Your job it's is the to... marriage that counts. Do you think your audience is gonna handle this <laughs> kind of? You're gonna hate your wedding day. We've got yeah, really get out your dress. <laughs> you're gonna hate your wedding day, and you're definitely gonna hate it if you are dressed like this. What's next? Something gorgeous. Ooh, I'm excited. It doesn't always have to be a dress. Bianca Jagger. <laughs> she wore a suit. Now it's a skirt suit. Oh. It has the freedom and the movement of a dress, but it's a suit. However, I would like to try the suit on because it's, even though it feels so retro, it is also still so modern. Shall we? The answer is yes. Get out of here. <laughs> Sarah, show me that suit. Oh. Uh, whoopsie. <laughs> Gorgeous. Thoughts? I like it more than I thought I would. You like it because it's boxy and it hides the things you don't want people to see. Isn't that the goal? Yes. <laughs> Who do I look like? What movie? You ready? Okay. You don't know me. <laughs> oh my God, first wife's club. Yeah, the show, and Goldie oh. Horn. I'm very, no, I think I'm actually Diane Keaton. Okay, how are we accessorizing, Tan? Sit down. 
Oh. But how do you feel in this? I feel, as you said, you were spot on. I feel great because it's covering all the right areas. Exactly. But Tan, enough about me. Well, how did well, you get well. into fashion? How did you start loving fashion? I was always into fashion, but I didn't know it as fashion. I just really liked playing with clothes when I was a kid. And then um, my granddad owned a factory that made um, denim. And so by the time I was 14, I could make like a full garment. Wow. And so then I started making clothes for my mom, my sister, and I realized, this is gonna sound so <laughs> but I realized what power it had. Like it changed my mom completely when she'd put something on that I had made for her. Like she actually felt good. Because we didn't have money, we, we weren't wealthy, and so she couldn't buy new clothes. So if I were able to make her something, she'd feel beautiful. Do you think that by talking about yourself, I'm not going to notice what you just put on my head? See, I, w I wanted to audition it, and it failed the audition. I ended up going to college for fashion in South Yorkshire. I moved to America when I was like 23, and I was about to lose my visa. <laughs> And I wanted a green card desperately. I just wanted it to be home. So I thought, why don't I st start a company here? It went so well that I retired at 32. And then a few days later, <laughs> Netflix reached out and said, do you want to be on TV? I was like, no. And they were like, can we force you to be on TV? I was like, maybe. And then finally I said yes to, to the show. And that's how I ended up here. Right, that's enough chit chat, dear. I really want to see the suit, like the full look. What do you think? It's a lovely outfit, however, you can't expect with your wedding outfit to buy off the rack and think it's gonna work perfectly. You have to go for a fitting, you have to have it altered. And so there are certain, certain things you can do, like take up the sleeve if you wanna feel like you're less casual. And then, and you wanna show off your bling, which is very nice. You can take things in to really fit it nicely. You can add accessories, but generally, I think that the suit is a lovely alternative to a dress if you don't feel like a super femme girl. But I've got a feeling you're not sold on this. So, shall we try one of my favorites Ooh, right I'm now? I'm excited, what's this? We are gonna go for the ultimate wedding moment, the aisle blocker. Okay, I think we're onto something. Won't you? Da -da -da -da, da -da -da. <laughs> what do we think? Okay. Is this an aisle blocker? Wow, that's a really good twirling thing. Okay, I wanna make it really clear mm -hmm. that I am not losing my mind. I know that this dress isn't the aisle blocker, it's the cape. So you're wearing a fishtail dress um, underneath, which is gorgeous. And then we've added a cape to really give you the volume. The cape I think is incredible. Okay. I think I love the drama. The dress is a little too blah. And I'm assuming eventually, like, let's say if you're dancing, you'll take the cape off and you're just left with a really, really plain white dress. It's beautiful, it just needs accessories. You can use my shoulder again. Now, is this the vibe tribe for you? I would choose probably the aisle blocker. Why? Not this actual dress, but I think I'd go into the theme or the tribe of Isle Blocker. Volume. I like the idea. Well, I did wear a huge trail for my wedding. Picks are, isn't true. Okay, so I only had about 12 people. Oh, you liar. That's not an Isle Blocker. Yes, it is. Look at my it's, trail. It's a long trail, but it's, it's actually quite, just, it's just a fit and a flesh. <gasps> oh, oh, yeah, there you go. See, look, showing that I am an Isle voice. Blocker. That's quite enough from you, Tan. Tell everyone at home, why should they watch Say Yes to the Dress? If you want emotion, if you want joy, if you want drama, I think it's incredible. Tan, thank you so much. I cannot wait to watch Say Yes to the Dress. It is on Really, and it is also streaming on Discovery Plus. And while you're here, don't forget to subscribe to the Sunday Times Star YouTube channel. On that note, shall we? You get this once in your life only.